Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And my name is Charles. And today we're going to be talking about the sin of all sins, canned vegetables. Now, a lot of people have a lot of things against canned vegetables. You know, everybody likes fresh fruits and vegetables and everything and all that. But in an emergency survival situation, canned goods can save your life, period. Not to mention the fact that most people just don't have the money to get into canning or uh, dehydration, um, all that type of different stuff. Either they don't have the time, they don't have the money. It's just a fact of life. So in that, you know, people fall back to canned goods, which there still is, you know, nutritional value in the canned goods. I mean, granted, it's not the same as if you went to the store and bought fresh fruits or vegetables or you went to the farm stand and got them. Um, but in a pinch, in an emergency, um, it's better than going hungry. So, you know, a lot of people out there, you know, they bitch moan and groan about canned goods. They don't like them and everything else. And, you know, I'd rather have fresh fruits and vegetables personally if I'm going to be eating them. But, you know, give you a perfect example right now with the current situation that has been going on. Um, I haven't been to Walmart in a month and a half. So, you know, I just don't go. You know, I just choose to stay out of the stores. If it's a hurricane situation, you're probably not going to be able to get out, you know. So, you know, to have canned goods on hand, and they have a very long shelf life. You know, some of these are good until 2023. I mean, that's if you can base everything off of, you know, that's just your basically your best sell by date you know that's what they're telling you okay well up to this point we guarantee the freshness you know um, don't call us because you know you ain't gonna get your money back you know but I mean canned goods will last a lot longer than that if you store them properly so if you store them in a cool dry place in your house um, you can get quite a few years out of these um, canned goods and they're great for emergency preparation and emergency preparedness now, like I said, you know, everybody out there, we'd all love to be able to have the time to do all the other things, the, you know, all the different ways that you can do it. But when push comes to shove and the shit hits the fan, canned vegetables are about the best way to go. It's the cheapest way to go. And um, if you're going to be without power and stuff for quite a long time, you're going to want to make sure that you have something that you probably could just open and eat because it's ready to go. You know, right down here, you got potatoes. You know, they're not really that bad. You know, if you take the potatoes and you, you know, mash them up a little bit, or if you can fry them or anything else, you'd never know it. You would never know it. I can make those potatoes and you'd never know that they came out of a can. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So, you know, it's just all on how you can prepare the stuff. So, you know, in emergency supplies, you might wanna make sure that you got maybe some spices and stuff like that. I don't know. It's all up to you. It's whatever you choose you wanna do. You know, all I'm saying is in a push comes to shove situation and basically with what's going on in the world right now and people just don't have a lot of money and hurricane season's right around the damn corner, buy some canned goods. Even though they're on limitations and stuff, buy canned goods. It's going to be your best way to make sure that you have food for you and your family. And when it boils down to it, that's all that matters. So, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And this is part of the emergency preparedness series, just to get you rethinking about what is coming. Now I have done extensive videos on the hurricane season 2020. You can go back and check that out. I'll leave a link. And until next time, catch you all on the flip side.